There are 1.8 billion people around the globe aged between 10 to 24, the largest generation of young people in the world history. Young people today have greater opportunities ever before, yet they also face greater challenges than any previous generation. We have entered an era of uncertainty with an increased inequality and injustice, world hunger, climate emergency, forced migration, poverty, conflict, COVID-19, disinformation, and the rights to speech. In this video, we will tackle some of the relevant global issues such as gender inequality, food shortage, poor education system, violence, and poverty in order to provide information regarding the aforementioned global issues that we are facing and to be able to understand what are the consequences brought by these issues, why is the need to address these issues, and how to possibly contribute in terms of addressing these issues. I'll be discussing inequality. So what is inequality? The world is not level playing field in terms of human rights, opportunities, and quality of life. Each person experience is unique. Some countries have more wealth and resources than others. Some countries have stable and peaceful government, while the others that while the others do not. For the second one, what is the consequences of global issue inequalities? Or what was the impact of inequalities? Widening inequality has important implications for growth or, macroecon or macroeconomic stability because it can concentrate political and decision-making power in the hands of few people lead to an efficient use of human resources, cost investment, deterrent, political and economic instability, and increase the risk of crisis. The third one is how to address global issue inequality. In today's society, where there are people who tend to discriminate others, people who are different from what they used to see, and be with. It is really important for us to understand global inequality so that we will be able to fight for ourselves and our rights without doing the same thing to them. We must be aware that it is true that there are people who do not have the same views on many, many different things as ours. And the third one is how I um, how I can contribute to address the inequality. There are some ways to contribute to address inequality, such as raising marginal tax based on highest income bride, improving tax compliance, eliminating tax exemptions and reassessing the role of property and wealth taxes. Since I'm a student, I still don't have enough confidence if I could help right now. But here's what I'm willing to do while I'm studying, like treat each other equally, avoid racism, help each other, don't make fun of someone, and lastly, accept them for who they are. Of all the issues the world faced today, it is indeed the COVID-19 pandemic was the one which brought biggest dilemma in people all across the world. With the insurgence of pandemic, the need to address any other national issues of governments in different countries heightened, as its relevance solely impact the welfare of people. During the peak of virus transmission, Different countries came up with their mandatory safety protocol in order to control the rate of contamination. Whereas people all across the world were mandated to be confined at home. Its result? It led to people hoarding basic necessities due to their fright of food insecurity, which later transpired resulting to food shortage becoming a global issue. 
food shortage has a great impact in the lives of people. Without enough access to sufficient food products, the health and nutrition of people may be compromised. Moreover, a country struggling to balance the demands of people and the rate of food production will only burden its economy, affecting its citizens because there will surely be inflation in terms of the prices of food products. This may put people who are in the lower level of socioeconomic classes at a disadvantage, which if not addressed properly by the national government, it will only result in the growing number of people suffering from malnutrition. The issue of food shortage can be addressed starting from the initiatives of national government of different countries. Addressing the problem nationally, leaders of certain countries can come up with plans to help boost their own economy first. For example, putting some of the government's budget to the livelihood and agricultural sector in order to boost the production of food crops and livelihood products which manufacturers can benefit from as raw materials can be widely available for manufacturing companies in order to produce large number and different varieties of food products. This issue can be addressed as well in a global level by means of cooperation of leaders of different countries, in which they can join hands and address the matter in a kind of give-and-take approach in order to come up with plans to alleviate the impact of the pandemic in global economy. Education is a vital in a most in every country, due to the fact that each country has its own education system. Most countries have a similar concept or related certification. According to Mr. Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Poor education system In any scale, be it national or local, have a huge impact on the student's education, as it dedicates what students will learn their study and how well they can learn it. Even if education system provides a wide variety of knowledge, if the system is to implement it as a very poor quality, it only hinders the students to attain their full potential. This issue is very much common in any country in the world. It can even happen to developed countries and more common in developing ones. It needs to be addressed as it dedicates a huge future. If they would be able to learn knowledge that they can use for their future or waste their time to studying and not learning anything. The first way we contribute as a normal citizen of any county is to urge the youth or student to study. Second, we would urge the school institute to propose a better education system. And lastly, we would urge the teacher to teach more enthusiastically to help the student to attain their potential. Changing an education system is everyone's problem, as it can influence where a country would be lead to this future. A pleasant day to everyone. Today, I'll be discussing the global issue of violence. First, let's define what violence means. Violence is the intentional use of physical force or power, threatened or actual, against oneself, another person, or against a group or community, that either result in or has a high likelihood of resulting in injury, psychological harm, death, maldevelopment, or deprivation. Violence is an extreme form of aggression such as assault, rape, or murder. Violence has many causes including frustration, exposure to violent media, violence in the home or neighborhood, and a tendency to see other people's actions as hostile even when they are not. Most of the people learned violence because of the so-called discipline to our culture, but most of the time, it was learned due to exposure to violent media such as action movies and such. What is more alarming is that only extreme aggression is the only thing people considered as violence. Most of the people label bullying as a plaything for a child. This is where the aggression starts. Children think also that this is just a plaything that it is implanted to their mind that wherever they go, once they find a weak prey, they will bully it. The problem is that no one wants to confront this aggression, resulting to people being more malevolent that causing death to their prey. How a bully will be frustrated, or worse, is that they will be depressed over their situation, causing them to either took vengeance to the bully or took their lives. It is alarming that violence grew to our world. You cannot remove violence or humanity anymore. We need to address this kind of issue because this aggression is one of the things that influence war. Actually, it is the violence that drove people to hold grudges to one another. And this grudge will continue to grow until someone paper it by means of violence. Also in our homes, 
we need to address the violence because there is a domestic violence happening in our home and the person which is more affected is the child of the family. People need to understand that violence does not indicate that they are stronger than the recipient. In fact, it does not de define anything but crime. Addressing this global issue will result to more peaceful home that anyone can feel safe. Aside from that, the child from the family will develop better character and better mindset. If we want to address this kind of issue, we cannot also include violence to the solution. Instead, we need to think of a way to give a better solution. As the people says, you cannot talk peace while holding a gun. So given the situation, the thing that we can do first is justice. Injustice no man is above the law. Next is when feeling angry towards someone, instead of confronting violently, confront it in a peaceful way. Words are powerful, it can either lead the fire or a contradiction. Lastly, always think about peace. Let's all live with a harmonious lives. Poverty. We can define poverty as the condition where the basic needs of a family, like food, shelter, clothing, and education, are not fulfilled. It can lead to other problems like poor literacy, unemployment, malnutrition. A poor person is not able to get education due to lack of money and therefore remains unemployed. An unemployed person is not able to buy enough and nutrition food for his family and their health decline. A weak person lacks the energy required for the job. A jobless person remains poor only. Thus, we can say the poverty is the root cause of the other problems. Poverty is not normal. It is man-made. As the causes of poverty are generally man-made, there are various causes of poverty but the most important is population. Rising population is putting burden on the resources and budget of countries. Governments are finding difficult to provide food, shelter, and employment to the rising population. The other causes are lack of education, war, natural disaster, lack of employment, lack of infrastructure, political instability. For instance, lack of employment opportunities makes a person jobless and he is not able to earn enough to fulfill the basic necessities of the, his families and becomes poor. Lack of education compels a person for less paying jobs and it makes him poorer. Lack of infra infrastructure means there are no industries, banks, etc. in a country resulting in lack employment opportunities. Natural disasters like food earthquake also contribute to poverty. Poverty affects the life of a poor family. A poor person is not able to take proper food and nutrition and his capacity to work reduces. Reduced capacity to work further reduces his income, making him poorer. Children from poor family never get proper schooling and proper nutrition. They have to work to support their family and this destroys their ch childhood. Some of them may also involve in crimes like theft, murder, robbery. Poverty is a social evil. We can also contribute to control it. For example, we can simply donate all clothes to poor people. We can also sponsor the education of a poor child. Or we can utilize our free time by teaching for students. Remember, before wasting food, somebody is still sleeping hungry. Being one of the youth in today's generation, we can exercise our voices in order to raise awareness with these global issues affecting people all across the world. More importantly, if we make ourselves be heard, we can influence others to find and provide solutions needed to end all forms of poverty, inequality, and tackle climate change by taking initiative and drive actions to bring change in the world, which of course can be achieved if people act with a sense of unity towards achieving a certain goal.